So you've probably seen these videos showing you how to create a consistent character. But what they probably don't tell you is that you need a paid subscription to use tools such as Deltree and Midjourney AI. But today I'm going to show you how you can get similar results for absolutely 100% free. Now, before we get started, kindly hit that subscribe button. Also remember to like and share this video so that more people will be able to see it. Now, let's get started. Just go to Google and search TensorArt. Uh, it will take you to this uh, website. So TensorArt is basically an art generation AI tool. And you can probably uh, you can use it to generate uh, realistic models, uh, 3D models, actually anything that you actually want to design. Sorry. So today we're just going to design a 3D uh, character. We're just going to do an example with a 3D character. But remember that you can actually use this tool to generate even realistic models. So we're just going to search through here and see uh, the design that we want to use. Like this Disney Pixar style looks good. So we're just going to hit run. And you're just going to have to sign in with either Google or your Discord account. So I'll just sign in with my Google account since that's what I had signed it with before. And now you can just hit run. And uh, as you can see, I was generating a few um, uh, samples for a different project but any so we're just going to tweak uh, my initial prompt so that we can get a different character and actually the main thing with this tool is that you just have to make sure that your base description remains the same like that's it once you hone that down then you can pretty much create a consistent character of anything so we are just going to tweak that to make it a boy so now we've just gotten our first images uh, but as you can see it's all over the place i actually do not like it at all but not to worry uh, once you get the prompt down right then you're going to start getting something really good so we're just going to tweak our prompt again we're just going to tweak our description of our character a little bit more. Uh, so actually, the more you, you do this, the better you get at it, yeah? And remember, your, your a result is as good as the prompt that you give the AI. So we're just going to look at this one. Uh, see, that's a little bit better, but I'm really, really not liking. See, this is actually better. So the more you play around with this, the better the, the better the results. Since I'm not really liking uh, the character, so what you're going to do is, I'm going to change the base model. So this is where you click and just go to 3D again. And it will actually take you directly to 3D since that's what you're chosen. So we're going to choose this 3D animation. So, and we're going to hit generate with that same one. Uh, the same prompt with this uh, new base model uh, now we're going to just look at our character so I feel like this one is a little bit better the style is a bit better so I feel like we can run with this and get something pretty good so let's just keep running with this for a while and see the kind of characters that we keep getting now this one looks pretty good yeah as you can see now the character is beginning to take shape actually it looks pretty good this is absolutely usable uh, so we are just going to keep tweaking our prompt until we get something pretty consistent yeah and once we've honed down the consistency the next thing now that you do is start making a character like giving it different facial expressions with it sad whether your character is running you just change those prompts like that is the only thing now you mess with you leave the base description alone once you do that i promise you, you're going to get a consistent character now i've been doing this for like uh around 20 minutes now and you can see i'm getting something pretty good absolutely usable don't worry about the extra trash that is coming in we can always remove that in the next step like that's not a big deal at all and you can actually remove it for free so don't worry i'll still show you what to do in the next step but for now we just need to hone down our character we're just going to put in like different 
emotions, whether it's crying, whether it's surprised, whether it's jumping, whether it's sitting, you know, eating, playing, running. So those are the things that you need to, you know, input in your prompt so that you start getting that consistency with the same exact character. So we're just going to put in here laughing. Um, uh, the same thing you can do, whether you want your character to be crying, whether you want your character to be sitting down, to be eating, you only get to mess with that part. Like for the base prompt, I repeat, please leave the base prompt alone. Like don't mess with it. Once you start getting a consistent character, don't mess with the base prompt. The only thing you're allowed to mess with now is the description of uh, whatever your character is doing or, you know, whatever they're involved in. But the base description, that should remain absolutely the same. I cannot insist this enough. So as you can see, this this character is pretty much the same character. We are, we are definitely getting the same character. The consistency is actually really good. This is literally the same character and you won't believe this is for absolutely 100 percent free nobody's going to charge you to uh to to you know to get these characters like to to get this amazing results like you don't have to break the bank you know as they say <laughs> it's all about your resourcefulness it's not about your resources so this is actually going to be a lifesaver if you do not have the you know the budget for a paid ai tool i'll not lie those paid ai tools they're actually the results are pretty much they're actually really stunning and easy to use but then if you do not have uh, the budget for that then this is a pretty uh, solid way to go as you can see i'm getting the kind of results that i would actually get with some of those paid ai tools so we are just going to keep playing with this keep giving it different prompts and keep seeing the kind of characters that we're going to get uh so if you're not pressed for time trust me you keep doing this and you get amazing results so for me all i needed to do was show you actually how to do this and you can see i've done this for a very short time and my results are pretty much amazing so there's no reason we shouldn't get the same results now we are just going to start downloading these characters and once it's downloaded like i uh, like i said some of those characters you get are really nice but it has an extra junk that you do not want so for that all you need to do is go to photopy photopy is like yeah <laughs> the free version of photoshop if i may say uh, so you just go to photopy.com, upload your character and all you need to go to do is just go to this magic wand, uh, to this magic wand, select it and just hold on the shift key and select the character, uh, press uh, the areas that you want to cut out. So you're just going to do that diligently, uh, just select it out, you select it all well. So we also do not want this shoe around so we're just going to cut it out as well so we're just going to hit um press the left button key sorry the right uh button key and you just hit remove background now this is what you get as you can see we have a very clean uh character so now you can just export it to use as you please uh, the, we have actually created a, a transparent background so now you can just go to file and edit export as then you export as png now once you've checked and seen that the character is perfect now just hit save and it's going to download to your computer now you can go ahead and upload it to canva or whichever other tool that maybe you want to use whether it's canva whether it's CapCut, whether it's in short and we're just going to upload this and just to show you that the character you've gotten is actually a trans has a transparent background and you can pretty much place this character anywhere we're just going to choose a color we're just going to do a green background uh, as you can see our character is pretty much transparent so you can place this anywhere and it's good this is actually a lifesaver like you can use this for whatever it is that you want 
and guess what that was for 100 percent free so for this kind of videos and many more kindly hit that subscribe button and see you in the next one i hope you enjoyed this one i hope you learned something new and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye